welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video this is gonna be the classy chat show and today i have my very good friend here joy it's that one so is it in french, that word? Yeah, that's a french word. okay what, what does it mean i have no clue you have no clue so which side of canada is that because i hear a lot of ugandans uh, live in either okay, okay. that's the eastern part so it neighbors mm. montreal mm. so montreal toronto which is ontario and uh Quebec, they are in the eastern part of Canada. Okay, educators, girls, educators, girl, this is like geography, but we are gonna let you know about London as well, yes. isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying, like uh, me and Joy come, um, yeah, so uh, I was basically saying that uh, I cannot imagine a 10 year old literally getting almost like five or less than hours of sleep yeah. because we had to work so hard. Being a refugee, and it was the norm. Yes, it was the norm. <laughs> so the being day. a refugee in uh, in Uganda and bless Uganda, it's it's always my second or even first home because that's where I was born. I spoke their language. I I, I love the food. I love the culture. I love everything about Uganda, and and so we were allowed to actually access public school education mm. even mm. as refugees. But I remember our parents instilling these values in us and saying, "Hey, we're just foreigners here, and for you to." even access what a normal like natural ugandan would access you have to work doubly hard so yeah. that's what kept me pushing and i remember also my parents were had a very high work ethic they yeah. had they were such hard work mm -hmm. my dad my mom worked so hard to like push us to to get into the best schools in uganda to provide for us to almost like provide a living that was similar to that of a Ugandan that was born in Uganda. Yeah, I like remember your parents having this busiest retail shop. Yes. Everybody would go to that shop. Yes. Mwami Luhigisha's yes. shop. Waliye yes. Chireka. Gabana Yebeda so busy. Yes. Come Friday yes. evenings because this is like we buy you die our Guluku yes. so the yes. seventh days. Yes. So it would be packed, people mm -hmm. buying stuff for Sabbath mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And you told me you had other shops as well, yeah. like yeah. So my parents where. Had three well, of them so there yeah. was one in chireka there there was another wholesale one in nakawa yeah and then in chikobo wow yeah, so by then so i didn't even know that i only knew about that local one there where we yeah. would buy what we needed for home use yeah. but they really done well yeah. really 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 they yeah. really did well so um i take it it's a joy like i remember yeah. being so sad for good you i couldn't believe like right. uganda moved all all these years yes. Yes. you know that's way like you you have friends and, mm. and you know you Going to school. Nemu da yo nemu gende na dala chigali for good nga wogolo talo luwe de yo joy. But it must have been so difficult for you to can start a new life a new there life. again. Yes. Of course, we were young and we did not quite understand it. Uh, exclude like we didn't understand the implications of packing your bags and going. Yeah. But I think it was a mixed feelings. Mm. We, we experienced mixed feelings now looking back because mm. we had been refugees for a while my parents had been for a while i was yeah. born as a refugee yeah. and so even though uganda was so good to us and we had been, we accessed all these schools and the privileges but we still longed to be home yeah so rwanda as our home mm. and so when when we heard that the genocide was done and most people were, were most people were re repatriating and going back mm. home it, it was exciting in that sense so mm. we finally felt like oh we, now we also have a place we can call home but also as you say we had built all these relationships yeah. especially childhood relationships mm. people like you my parents had mm. built uh, you know a community yeah, there. Like how yes and then we had to leave so mm. it was mixed and it was sad and we're mm. leaving those relationships mm. and until now that's why when i come to a place like this and i know there was there's a you know an old childhood friend yeah i hit them up because those relationships are so dear to me mm. yes 
Yeah, because yeah. 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 you were born in Uganda, yeah. why that's all being managed. So we had to go and start over again. So, over again. So yeah. it's not that you yeah. went back, no. your parents went back to no. their home homes yeah. yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah, because oh. they lived in Uganda for, for so long. Mm. Yeah. It was so Even like long. when you were born in Uganda. Primary, yeah. part of secondary yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love me better Better than I love myself I, I just want you to know You trust me better Better than I trust myself Claire Classy Yeah Yes